hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to understand about the prior transformation first we will understand how prior transformation works and then with practical example in a data factory we will see how actually we can use a prior transformation so we use a prior transformation to create a multiple column from the unique row values of a single column for taking example suppose you have a one of the column the column name is a country in this country column you have a value like india you have a value like USA, you have a value like UK. Now what actually you want, this is the unique rows, right? Unique rows value. Now what actually you want, you want to create a column with the unique rows value. Now how actually we can do, I can use a pivot transformation and I can create a multiple column, one column for the India, one column for the USA, one column for the UK. I will only take the unique value. You can see India is two time, but only I will take a unique rows value and with that rows value, I will try to create a column. Like a, from a row to the column conversion we are doing that actually you have to understand. Piot is an aggregation transformation where you select a group by column also and generate a Piot column using an aggregate function. So here we also have to use a group by and the aggregate function that you have to remember. So let's take one example and with that example let's try to understand usually what kind of the scenario you will get to use a Piot transformation. In this example you can see I have a one of the data. In this data I have a employee ID, I have a department, I have a country and I have all the employee ID information, I have all the department related information, I have also have all the country information also. Now my requirement is like I want to get the output like this, like department IT where I have a from India I have a two employee, from the USA I have a one employee. From a department sale I have from India only I have a one employee and from a USA I have a zero employee. So this is the output I want. So how actually I can achieve? So this India and the USA right that is coming into the country. So whatever the unique value which is coming into the country column what actually I am doing I am trying to convert into a column. So suppose in a country column if I am getting India and the USA this is the unique value that actually I am converting into the column and I am creating a India and a USA column. Suppose here also we are getting a UK then uh, one more column will get created UK and uh, there also we have to do a count. Here you can say we have to use a group by column. I am using a group by department. And also we have to use aggregate function. So here I am counting the count of the employee ID. It means what is the count of the employee ID. So if you will write a SQL query, the SQL query will look like this. Select count of distinct, distinct ID. And we have to group by the department from a table. From table. And we have to group by department this is the query we will write right in a sql so what actually we are doing we are grouping based on the department and what actually we are counting count of the id which is the two and one in india you can see we have a two employee right this is the employee and this is the employee means total we have a two employee in a usa in it department we only have one employee so that is why one so similarly here if you have to achieve this result we use a pivot transformation so here also we get an option like to create to use a group by function to use a aggregate function. Let's take another example. So what is the practical we are going to do? Let's try to understand. So I have a, this particular data. In this data you can see I have an employee ID, I have a department name, I have a department ID, I have a name, I have a country. Now what actually output I want? I want output like I want a based on the each department ID. How many employee belongs to the India, how many employee belong to USA, how many employee belong to the UK. That is the output actually I want from this particular data set. So what I will do, I will do a group by based on the department ID. And what I will do, I will pivot this country column into a multiple column. Based on the unique values into this country column, I will create a, a column for that. Like for India and I will try to count like how many employees are there. So count of employee ID I will do. So that is the practical we are going to do. So what I will do, let me open. So I will show you, this is storage account which I have created. In this storage account, I have an input column. If I will show you, in this in input column, and this is the data set I have. You can see I have an employee ID, department name, department ID, name and the country. And we want to pivot this country, right? So I will open my Azure data factory. So pivot transformation will come under the data flow only. So we will click on the new data flow. Click on the add a source. 
first we will create a data set like usual so our data is available in a blob storage so i will select that it is in a csv format so i will select that uh, we will create a link service here we will select the subscription here we will select the storage account and i will just click on the create now after that we have to select the file path where actually file is available my file is available in input folder this is the particular file which i have i'll just select i'll click on the ok now my data set is now ready if you want to preview go to the data preview but you have to first on this uh, validate button so it's already on click on the refresh now you will be able to preview your data you can see column total column is 15 because it is also treating some more column which is a blank also that is why it is showing the 15 column you can see prop 1 prop 2 something like that but uh, i am able to read my data as of now right now after that what we will do we will try to use a uh, which particular uh, transformation we are going to see about the pivot transformation so i'll click on the plus and go to the pivot transformation in this pivot transformation bottom you can see what are the things we have to do we have to use a group by right so based on which particular uh, id you want to group i want to group based on the department id so i'll select that go to the pivot key in the pivot key which particular column you want to pivot so in this case i want to pivot this country column right so based on this unique value of the country i want to create a multiple column so i'll select that so i will select here the country column which i want to pivot and the bottom you will get a value that is optional so don't put any value by default it will take whatever the unique value will be there based on that it will automatically create that pivot column in this column we have to use a expression whatever the group by whatever the aggregate we want to do right so so what i will do i'll click on here i'll try to write expression what is the expression i will write expression i will write count of which particular employee id i want to count save and finish now after that if you click on the preview let's see whether it's working fine or not you can see i am getting a department id the india for the department id we have a one employee for uk also we have one employee in usa we don't have any employee for department id 2 we have a two in employee from a india so our values are getting properly this is what actually the output we wanted right so what we have done from the unique value of rows we have converted into a column like and you can see the india uk usa this is the column also got created and after that you just had to create a sync and there actually you had to run then finally your data will get stored so i'll click on the sync here you can create a data set where you want to store so i'll i want to store into as a csv format only where i want to store i want to store into the uh, location of the output this is the output location where i want to store click on the okay click on the okay after that we have to create a new pipeline and uh, this data flow we will just try to drag this after that click on the publish all you can see publish and there is no error once the publish will complete we'll just try to trigger it and our file should get saved there but one thing you have to remember go to the data flow whenever you are saving right in a go to the optimize you can see use current partition so always use a single partition also in a single file only it will get saved if you want to multiple partition you want to set you, that you can use but a single partition as of now I, only, I want to save so i will use a single partition again i will try to publish click on the publish publish is completed click on the add trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok you can see it is succeed now so i will go to the storage account in this storage account output folder here the file should get saved and this is the file which got saved and if i'll go to the edit i can preview that so this is what i am getting the output means our my pipeline is working fine 